committed adultery on my wife, should I tell her? Make sure to watch this video to the end. It's gonna bless a lot of you. A lot of you are gonna catch breakthrough. It might be extremely convicting to you. Make sure to watch it all the way to the end. Don't log off. Even if you don't like what I'm saying, watch it all the way to the end. So I know the title probably drew you in. Interesting topic. Some of you are like, man, what is he gonna say? Did he commit adultery on his wife? No. I have not committed adultery on my wife by the grace of God. I seek the Lord daily. His power sustains me. I love my wife. My wife loves me all by God's grace, his mercy, and his love. But there are a lot of you out there who have committed adultery on your wife or your husband and you haven't told them. The Bible says before you bring your gifts to the altar to make it right with your brother and sister, if there's a grievance, if there's beef, if there isn't peace, that the peacemakers are the sons of God. So you might be thinking, well, I repented to God. I repented to an elder. I haven't told my wife, but she doesn't need to know. This is my question. If your wife or other way around, if your husband committed adultery on you, and you found out later that they did, and they came to you and said, but I repented to God and I repented to my pastor, so I'm okay. How would you feel? You would feel betrayed, you would feel hurt, you would feel backstabbed. Nobody likes things extremely that, especially that important to be hidden from them. The Bible says that we are allowed to divorce because of sexual immorality, because of the hardness of our hearts. But if you read about the prophet Hosea, you see that God, even though we've committed adultery on him so many times, he still forgives us and has mercy. God ultimately wants us to forgive and wants us to make it work. But we are allowed to divorce only because of sexual immorality. So if you've committed adultery on your husband or your wife and they don't know, how can they have the opportunity to even consider divorce or make things right? It's wrong. It's a hidden secret. And the Bible says everything that's done in the darkness will be brought to the light. So if you're a pastor, if you're a leader in the church, if you're discipling someone and you're telling them, don't tell your wife, don't tell your husband, you already repented to God and to an elder, just keep it right here. I believe you're wrong. I believe that it needs to be released and things need to be handled. The Holy Spirit needs to have his way so that those hidden things don't come to surface later on in a time when it shouldn't be. You see, the enemy looks for those hidden things. The enemy loves secrets. Look at Freemasonry, witchcraft. Look at all these satanic religions. They love secrecy because that's the whole like DNA of the devil is being a liar, a thief, stealing, killing, destroying. And keeping secrets is a, a very important factor for the kingdom of darkness. If they can keep secrets, they can reveal it at the time where, where it shouldn't be revealed at a time where you're gonna, where you're gonna spark a revival or in a time where maybe you're about to have a child or a time where, where you're about to catch a breakthrough. If the devil has legal right because you haven't released that to your husband or wife, you can get God. And some of you are like, well, I didn't commit adultery, I'm, I'm gonna be all right. Let me tell you something, watching porn is the same thing as going and cheating on your wife or husband. The, the actual word for porn, pornography, pornia in the Greek, is sexual immorality. So even if you've committed porn, that, that's means for divorce. Even though you should forgive, it is means to divorce according to the word of God. So you might be a man or woman who's watching porn on the low, thinking, well, I haven't told my, um, or I haven't committed adultery physically on my wife or husband. I watch porn, I'm gonna be all right. I'll repent when I need to. Look, not only do you need to repent because of because of the severity of iniquity, the, the legal right, there's like what the enemy can do to you and your family. Yes, your family, generational, the spirits you're allowing your house, and that, that's which is terrible, but it's also adultery that you need to confess to your wife or husband so that there can be breakthrough. Let me tell you something. When you trust in the Lord, the Lord will always come through. I'm gonna give you a quick testimony. When I came, when I came to Christ, um, about a, about two weeks later, my wife came to Christ, and then we waited a little bit of time and we got married. Before we got married, I was hiding a secret from her, and it was stuff that I did when we were in the world, stuff that I did when we when we were girlfriend and boyfriend, which was fornication was wrong already, but it was stuff that I did that was bad, messing with girls when she was at work, bringing them to our apartment, our my car, like bad stuff that. I didn't want to tell her because she was seven months pregnant with my child and I didn't want my child to have health issues. And I went to a deliverance minister, a pastor, and he, I, I, I repented to, to the Lord. I, I, I confessed to an elder. He prayed. I got a lot of deliverance. And, you know, you know, God, I respect this man. God bless him. But he recommended, hey, don't tell your wife, you know, wait till after the pregnancy, the, the birth and everything. Let me tell you what happened just to give you a testimony. So one night um, I was sleeping and the Lord came in my dreams. He literally came and, um, and you know, he really you know, spoke to me in a way, a convicting way saying, you need to tell your wife everything. I woke up, man. I felt like I hadn't gotten no sleep that night. Like I slept the whole night, but I felt like I had no sleep. I was a little agitated. I was like, man, I gotta get, I gotta do this for real. I can't keep hiding this secret. It was messing with my conscience, right? 
And that same night, the Lord took my wife to heaven. See, I didn't know any of this. When I woke up from that dream, I went straight downstairs, sat on my couch of our apartment and waited for her to come back. She was actually walking the dog our first dog, Truth. And um, when she came back, she was like, hey, babe, I had a dream, right? So the dream my wife had, the father actually took her to heaven. She had a, um, a supernatural experience. She got taken to the third heaven. The father um, showed her the mansion that she's gonna have when she gets there. Jesus showed up and, and pretty much told her. Jesus told her, forgive him, right? To forgive me to, or to love me unconditionally because I was a good man, right? The Lord knows the past, the present, and the future. He, he operates outside of the realm of time. So when she came out of the dream, she didn't fully understand, you know, I mean, she she had to forgive me for some, from some things she already knew from the past, but she didn't know the deeper things that I hadn't tell, told her. So when she came back from walking the dog, she was like, hey, babe, I had a dream. I said, well, before you tell me your dream, I need to tell you mine. I got to release this. And I told her everything and I looked at her and I expected her to wild out, begin to profusely cry, punch me in the face. I didn't know what was going to happen. My wife is a Haitian woman from New York, so they're a little feisty, right? <laughs> And um, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Man, I, she just started to tear up and she said, that's why the Lord told me that. And I'm just like, what happened? What did God tell you? And she told me like, um, he took me to heaven and told me to love you unconditionally, that you're a good man. And this is why she sat down. I sat down. She just needed her space a few days and she was able to let go of the bitterness and forgive. She forgave and we got married and it was beautiful. Now, now that, that was very important before our marriage and before the birth of our son to break generational curses and legal right of the enemy. If I didn't say those things, if we didn't, if I didn't confess those things, if we didn't make those things right, who knows what could have happened to our child? Who knows what type of legal right the enemy could have had to cause health implications or health issues or, or, or cause divorce? I don't know, but I just know the enemy's tricky. He's slick and he loves to accuse us. Uh, another testimony. Um, I'm not going to say the name, but a pastor friend of mine, before he was a pastor, before he had a ministry, you know, we used to do ministry together, like evangelize, do little revivals and different stuff, different things. And, um, and I went to see him and I had a word of knowledge that, that, there was, that he had committed adultery on his wife and he never told her. And it came to pass that it was true. He said, yeah, I did. Um, I went on, you know, I went and I spoke to elders already on this retreat. I told them everything. They told me I, I shouldn't tell my wife. I'm good. And I remember telling him, look, man, the Lord gave me a dream. The Lord showed me some things. And he said, man, the Lord gave me a dream too recently. And I was just like, man, you got to release it. Look, it was not easy because he was actually married to her, right? And they were Christians and kind of lukewarm at the time, but still Christians. And he committed adultery. It was very hard. His wife did not take it well. Um, she went through a lot. We, My wife and I counseled them. We, we prayed for them. They got deliverance, healing, all that. And let me tell you something. Now that same brother, a few, a few years later, has a church, a powerful ministry that's growing so fast. He has an online platform that's growing so fast. He's blowing up on social media. God has blessed his family. He has like so many children now. More after that time, after that that um, that that breakthrough, he, he I think he had two or three more children. He's on fire. His wife is on fire. The kids are doing great. His family's blessed. And I know that that moment, that that breakthrough, was so necessary for what is happening right now. Let me tell you something to wrap this up. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I'm gonna say it again. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It is better to release things than keep things hidden. I'm telling you, in the kingdom of God. Secrets are not good. You can justify it however you want. I, I repented to the Lord. I don't have to tell my wife. Yes, you do. I believe personally my discernment. If you've committed adultery, you need to tell your spouse. That's not something you hide. Again, the Bible says love others how you would how you would love yourself. Really sit down and get and, and get in the presence of God and ask the Lord, how would I feel if I found out that my wife or my husband hid that from me? And then especially if they use the name of the Lord saying, oh, I said it to the Lord though. Just think about what people can go through, like leaving the faith, being being hurt, you know, just thinking like, God, how could you not have this released to me for so long, Lord? Why did they keep it? Is you know what I'm saying? Like it can cause confusion, it can cause deception, Leviathan, man, it can cause so many things. So we don't want that chaos, man. Expose the darkness, expose it in all aspects of your life so that the light of God can comfort, can redeem, can reconcile, can heal, can deliver. Man, that's the whole point of, of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. He wants to do those things. So if this video blessed you, if you're gonna repent, if you're gonna confess to your spouse, I want you to comment down below so that people can pray for you. If you have a testimony where you did confess or you did repent to your spouse, I want you to comment down below um, any breakthrough that you received or what happened to you. Man, the Lord is so good. Like the video, um, hit the bell icon for notifications, subscribe to the channel. We have a free discipleship course out there. Go take it. Love you guys. God bless in Jesus mighty name.